everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. Today I have another exciting video. I have three Buffalo Check Christmas home decor DIYs. My first DIY is this beautiful sleigh. I got this DIY kit from Dollar General. So this is made already. It's very easy to put together. To paint the runners, I'm going to use this burnt umber and mix it with some water. I just wanted them to have a stained look instead. For the rest of the sleigh, I did a mixture again with red and water. To make my sleigh look more rustic farmhouse style, I am going to use some juice string and glue it around the runners. I decided to add some juice string around the sleigh too. Now I'm going to start to work inside the sleigh and I'm going to add some LED candles. Since I want one to look higher than the other, I'm going to add a piece of cardboard. You can use whatever you have. I just ran out of Jenga blocks, so I improvised. I'm going to add a piece of garland and then I added some berries, some pine cones and some leaves. I am also adding this snowflake I got from Dollar Tree. I am going to use some of these chenille stems. I am going to use some black and red and then twist a black and the red together. And then to one of the red ones, I am going to use this buffalo check ribbon I got and wrap it around. And I am also going to do to a black stem. I am then going to just twist it around my finger and make these little cute things. I don't know what they're called. But I got this idea from someone on Instagram, so if you know who she is, you should definitely comment down below so I can give her credit. And this is how my sleigh turned out. This is a very easy and simple sleigh to do since all I had to do is put the sleigh together and decorate it. My second DIY is this buffalo check reindeer. I absolutely love how this turned out. For this, I use this buffalo check fabric I got from Joann's. I am going to flip it around and fold it halfway. I printed this reindeer out from Google and cut it out. I am going to use it as a guide. So I thought I was going to be able to draw my reindeer to the fabric but I was wrong because I knew I was going to mess up so and I wasn't going to be able to erase it since I was going to use a pen. So I decided to use a piece of cardboard and draw the reindeer on it and then cut it out. Using a pen, I'm going to trace it and cut it out. Now it's going to be easier to trace it to the fabric. I am going to use this liquid stitch I got from Walmart. You can sew this if you want by hand or machine. You can even use your hot glue. The way I use this glue is I outline it all the deer except the bottom of the tail because I'm going to use that for me to stuff it. And then all I did is put the other side right on top of it. And I left it for 30 minutes to dry. I was going to start stuffing it when I realized that it was going to look weird with just one ear. So I ended up cutting the ear off and gluing it there where I cut it off. And I made two ears so then one can go on each side. To stuff my reindeer, I'm going to use this pillow. I use this during Thanksgiving DIYs. 
to make pumpkins. So I had some left and I just flipped the reindeer and stuffed it. I also did the ears and glued the other ends. For the legs, I am going to use a total of 12 skewer sticks. I glued three of them together. Again, I had to improvise with what I had at home. After gluing them and making the four legs, I am going to wrap them with shoestring. For the antlers, I'm going to use these I got from Walmart last year. Since they are two different colors, I am going to remove the glitter and paint them black. I know these antlers are from last year, and to be honest, I don't know if Walmart still carries these. I know I've seen something similar, but they were bigger. But another option you can use is just a headband and just cut the antlers off. I was gonna put my legs and then I realized they were too long so I ended up cutting like an inch and a half off and to add the legs I used my scissors to cut a small hole and just put them in there then I sealed them with my glue gun I use my glue gun to add the ears. The glue patch you see there was because I first tried to add the antlers with just my glue, but they were a little too heavy, so I made a small hole and put the stick back on the antlers and I just put them inside like I did with the legs. Because my glue was drying whitish, I went over all the glue patches with black paint. For the eyes, I'm using these that I had from my son's project. To be honest, if I didn't have these, I wasn't going to go out there just to buy a bag to just use two of them. So another option you can use is buttons or it looks fine without eyes. For the scarf, I used this piece of burlap ribbon I got from Dollar Tree. I also use this red bow to tie them together. And that is it. I love how my reindeer turned out. By the way, it's about 17 to 18 inches tall. My third and last DIY is this window decor. For this, I used two picture frames. I had these already. My in-laws gave them to me to craft. But you can use any of the Dollar Tree picture frames. I spray painted these black. Then I am going to attach them together with my glue gun. You can use E6000 if you're going to add a heavy decor. I then flipped them over and used some popsicle sticks for extra support. For my wreath, I used one of the mini wreaths Dollar Tree carries and some garland. I wrapped the wreath with a piece of garland. I probably used like five feet. I added the last piece of berry garland I had. I am going to leave it like that for now. I am going to use two of these $2 picks. These are from last year. I got them for like 50 cents after Christmas. I also just wrapped them around the corner of the frame. The good thing about this window frame is that you can use it all year around. Since I didn't glue anything, you can just change the flower picks at the corners and you can also change the wreath. The last thing I added to the wreath was this buffalo check bow and the metal belief word. To hang my wreath, I'm going to use this little command strip I got from Dollar Tree. So like that, you can change your wreath all year around and I glued it with my glue gun. And all I did was hang the wreath to it and that is it guys, this is my last DIY. This completes this video, I hope you guys like it. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you haven't already.
I love you guys. See you next time. Bye.